are you banana babes? Today we're gonna be making this adorable banana candle. I love candles so I figured why not make it myself, you know? To make this you're gonna need a few things. I used paraffin wax in block form, a double boiler for your wax, fragrance oil for your candle, candle dye. I prefer liquid candle dye. I get this at Hobby Lobby or you can also get it at Michael's. You're gonna need the yellow one and one that's a brown or caramel. A jar for your candles. You can choose any you like. I just thought these square-ish ones were really cute. Wicks for your candles. I prefer to get the medium size. Glue gun and glue sticks. A metal bowl with a metal whisk. An icing piping bag. And you're gonna wanna get one that has a star-shaped end like this. A kitchen scale that can measure in ounces. And this is totally optional, but a while back I made these silicone molds that are shaped like banana slices and Nilla wafers, because I just think they make it look really cute. Let me know if you're interested in a video about this, I'll be happy to show how I made them. And some plastic cups. Now that we know everything we need, let's get started. First, we're going to hot glue the wick onto the center bottom of our jar. Once that's cooled off, you're just going to put that aside till later. Next, we're going to figure out our ratio to candle wax versus fragrance oil. Now I want to make sure that I make enough to fill both my candle base and the embed. So I'm going to go with 11 ounces overall for this. It can be a little off, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's going to make my candle about 10% fragrance oil and the other 90% wax. If you want your candle to smell stronger, feel free to up the percentage or add a little bit more. Now that I know how much I need, I'm going to measure out pretty closely to the amount that I want. So I chop up or just kind of break up the wax into small pieces. That way it's easier to melt. Now that it measures about 11 ounces, I'm going to go ahead and measure out my candle oil. Again, we're going to need 1.1 ounces of the banana fragrance oil. Now that everything's measured out, we're going to go ahead and start to melt our wax. You're going to want to take a small pot, fill it up with about an inch or two of water, place it on your stove, and get the water boiling. Once your wax is completely melted, it's time to add the candle dye and the fragrance oil. Let's just dump in the fragrance oil and then add our dye. Now I'm going to take the yellow candle dye and just kind of sploosh it in there, you know, eyeball it. Now I want it very pigmented, so I don't mind if I add a little too much. I want it to look very close to the yellow of banana pudding. Now that my wax is deep and yellow, I'm going to go ahead and pour it in my jar. Be careful not to touch the sides of the candle with the wax, or you're going to have to scrape it off later and it won't look as clean. Just let that cool, and in the meanwhile, we're going to head on to our next part. Not too long ago, I made these Nilla wafer and banana slice molds, because I figured they come in handy for something like this. You're just going to pour your excess wax into two of the banana slices. Before you pour it in, you're going to want to add the caramel dye. And you should have enough for at least two cookie molds. If your wax starts to cool and harden at the bottom of your double boiler, don't worry about it, we'll just remelt it on the stove. We're almost done. Now for the very last part. Now while our wax is cooling, we're gonna prep our piping bag. It's really simple. You're just gonna make sure your piping bag is folded open and over an open cup. It just makes it easier to scoop the wax into. Time for the really fun part. Now we're making the icing for the top of our banana pudding candle. Now we're just gonna measure out our candle wax and our fragrance oil just like we did before. Only difference is now we're using five ounces of wax and half an ounce of fragrance oil. Again you can use more or less depending on what you like. Once you make sure it's well mixed, move it to our metal bowl. We're gonna essentially whip our icing while it cools so that we can get some stiff peaks. Sort of like how you do with regular icing I think. You're going to be doing this quite a few times, depending on how fast your wax cools. 
Make sure you stop when you get to this point, otherwise it'll be really hard to squeeze the icing out of the tube. Once you reach that point, you're just going to scoop your wax into your piping bag. Once you've got all your wax in the bag, squeeze it as close to the tip as you can, and now we're going to start the really fun part. It seems harder than it looks, but all you're going to do is squeeze it out slowly into a circle around the wick. Make sure your wick stays in the middle. Now don't be afraid if you make a mistake, it actually looks a little better that way. More organic. to stick in your candle embeds that we made earlier with our silicon mold. And voila, you're all done. Now you have a really cute banana scented candle for all those banana lovers out there in your life. Thanks for watching, bye.